On March 24th, 1988, a San Diego sports legend made his farewell to football, closing one chapter of Chargers history while ushering in another. The purpose of today is to uh, tell you that I am retiring as a, uh, an active player in the NFL. And it's just that after 15 years, and uh, this body's taken about as many hits as it can, and it's, it's just time for me to move on to a, a new phase, uh, another phase of my life, and, and I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know if there's anything I won't miss about it, uh, because it's a, it's a total experience. I live the, the greatest dreams and the, and the worst nightmares, so uh, it's, it's really been a, a, quite a journey. The retirement of Dan Fouts officially ended the 1987 Chargers season. The year had begun with the promise and excitement of a franchise that knew it was headed in a positive direction. We started with the premise that attitude makes a difference in a team sport, and it's not anything that anybody else hasn't done. It's just a matter of believing you can win and, and doing things uh, to expect to win rather than doing things to expect to lose. And it, it started, uh, you know, I think during uh, mini camp and uh, during training camp, uh, just an attitude that we wanted to be a better football team than we had been, that we were going to make a commitment and work hard to do it. On opening day at Kansas City, the Chargers showed how much they had improved. Although the Chiefs won, San Diego was aggressive on defense and displayed signs on offense that promised even greater production in games to come. That offense exploded a week later in the home opener against St. Louis with four San Diego touchdowns in the first half. One of the scores was the longest punt return by a Charger in 10 years. James back at the 20, up the middle, cuts left to the 25, through traffic, now turns right around the corner to the 30, to the 40, to midfield, to the 40, back inside, 30, 20, he will down to the 10, he goes all the way, touchdown, San Diego. The 81-yarder helped the Chargers win, but any celebration was short. The next day, the player strike began. But fortunately, a prepared front office had a great eye for talent. Operations Director Steve Ortmeyer, Chairman of the Board Alex Spanos, Head Coach Al Saunders, and the Alert Charger Personnel Department were the key figures in San Diego's rapid assembly of a quality replacement squad. In barely a week, a new team was built from scratch, and all it did was post the league's best record during the strike. They called themselves the Rechargers, and they defied the odds and the experts with three straight victories, all on the road. Their execution sometimes wasn't pretty, but the results always brought additions to the win column. In each game, the Rechargers trailed in the fourth quarter, but in each game, they rallied to win in dramatic fashion. Vince Evans to throw, fires, intercepted! Picked off by Patterson, 40, 50, 40, 30, he will go all the way! Touchdown, San Diego, Elvis Patterson! When the strike finally ended, San Diego had three wins, and the veteran players had remained together with no picket line defections. They returned to action, inheriting the top spot in the AFC West, and quickly proved to the opposing Chiefs that this team had no intention of surrendering first place to anyone. Bots to throw, looks right, looks left, throws, end zone, touchdown San Diego! Chargers have scored first. San Diego showed no ill effects from the layoff and avenged their opening day defeat with a 42-21 demolition of Kansas City. Out of the seven-yard line for Bill Kenny. Back to throw the Brooks, and he throws it! It's close to the end zone! It's recovering touchdown, San Diego! Touchdown, San Diego! 
The Chargers now were in high gear, en route to their longest winning streak in 26 years. In 1987, the man clearly in charge of the Chargers was head coach Al Saunders. We want, if we get them in a situation now where they have to punt the football, and we stop them from getting the first, we'll call time we'll out call right away. Yes, sir. Okay, right away. Coach Saunders brought together, brought an attitude to the team like, hey, let's go out there and be mean son of a guns, go out there and play hard every play, do everything we can to win the ball game. Saunders Brooks Brothers' attire and calm demeanor belie the wide spectrum of emotions that burn inside this highly competitive coach. With Al Saunders, what you see is not necessarily what you always get. I think he, he's a person that is cool and calm outside, but his heart is racing at 100 miles an hour underneath. He's in control and he's not showing that he's out of control, which is a plus for him. Another plus for the team was the ability to bring in veteran players and work them successfully into the Chargers' defensive scheme. Unwanted elsewhere, their visit to San Diego brought them bright sunshine, balmy breezes, and revived careers. The cast off. If you got a group like this, you can call them whatever you want to. I'm just glad they're here. Guys like Mike Charles, uh, Martin Bayless and guys like that. I mean, Vince and Glenn, they've all been big play guys for us all year long. And it's like guys are just kind of lining up, waiting for their turn to make the big play that's going to turn a game around. Their names included Phillips, Miller, Baldwin, Jackson, Davis, and Patterson, all contributors to San Diego's impressive rise in the defensive rankings. These players made big plays and also made history with a record-setting 103-yard interception return against the Broncos. Here is Elway to throw, backtracking, fires, and zone intercepted by the Chargers! San Diego also relied on a solid foundation of established veterans, all who continued to improve under the Chargers' attacking defensive style. Playing in the tradition of longtime Charger Woodrow Lowe, linemen Chuck Ian, Terry Unrine, and Dee Hardison, linebackers Gary Plummer and Thomas Benson, and deep backs Gil Bird and Danny Walters were all part of a spirited squad that in just one year had vastly improved in virtually all statistical categories. The Chargers kept pocket pressure on the quarterback, but what they did best was limit opposing aerial yardage. Only three NFL teams ranked higher in pass defense than the San Diego Chargers. The defense played a primary role in San Diego's most significant victory of 1987, an overtime victory against the powerful Cleveland Browns. Former Browns linebacker Chip Banks, number 56, set the tone with a first period interception, the first of several crucial plays made by the Chargers defense. Quarterback Dan Fouts rallied the team from a 10-point fourth-quarter deficit to send the game into overtime, where the defense promptly brought the game to a happy conclusion. Goes on to throw, flushed out of the pocket, throws, intercepted! Picked off by Vince Glenn at the 50, down to the 45, still on his feet to the 40, 35, cuts inside to the 30, down to the 25-yard line, to the Chargers are on the doorstep. This will be a 34-yard attempt. It is on the way. The kick is off. Rock kick. 